we just saw the introduction to copyright and how it originated and evolved over a period of time now let's look at copyright protection in india in india initially we had the indian copyrights act in 1914 which was brought in by the britishers and post independence we had the copyright act of 1957 the copyright act of 1957 consolidates the law on copyright in india and it incorporates provisions of the berne convention we had an amendment in 2012 the copyright amendment act 2012 which was a recent amendment which incorporated various new developments in copyright law it seeks to balance the rights of the authors right holders and the users so there is a balance that we were talking about that is expressly mentioned in the amendment it also has provisions on performance rights and and a provision to facilitate access to works by means of compulsory licenses the jurisdiction of the copyright act it extends to the whole of india the term of copyright for most works is life of the author plus 60 years the year in which the author dies there is another 60 years of protection so you can say that the term of the copyright is also dependent on the life of the author the copyright holder has the right to print publish sell copies of the work work as we had already mentioned is defined to mean a literary dramatic musical or artistic work it includes a cinematograph film or a sound recording works can be either created separately or jointly a work of joint authorship is defined as a work produced by the collaboration of two or more authors in which the contribution of one author is not distinct from the contribution of other other authors for example a music that is played by three musicians using different three different instrument instruments at the same time now the work is a work of joint author, authorship because there is you cannot distinguish or you cannot separate the work of one author from the others works protected by copyright include original literary works dramatic works musical works and artistic works it includes cinematograph films it includes sound recordings it also protects certain works in other conditions for instance example the work was first published in india can be protected in india and if the author is a citizen of india the work can be protected in india as well the term author refers to the author of a work when it comes to literary or dramatic work for a musical work author refers to the composer and for an artistic work the word author refers to the artist so author by author we mean the person who creates the work for a photograph it is the person who takes the photograph for a cinematograph film or sound recording it's the producer who produces the cinematograph film or the sound recording for computer generated work it is the person who causes the work to be created so again it is tied to the creation of the work